Max Verstappen had an absolutely phenomenal 22 season, wrapping up the title fight with four races to spare. And next year is set to be one of the longest Formula 1 seasons on record and has had mixed responses from teams and drivers. However, Verstappen has responded with his own comments regarding next season's 24 races and the 2023 season as a whole, and why he hates certain tracks on the Formula 1 calendar, all to be revealed in today's short video. But before we begin, if you enjoyed today's video, remember to leave a like and be sure to subscribe for more Formula 1 content. Formula 1 is becoming more and more popular every year. The calendar has grown from 16 races back in 2003 to a staggering 24 races that are to be staged next year. However, there have been doubts as to whether or not the Chinese Grand Prix will be going ahead, but even so, 23 races is still a record. But there have also been some concerns in regards to the length of the season, with the toll that it will take on the drivers and the teams, with the vast amount of travelling that will have to be done. However, Verstappen has responded to this already with his own brutally honest comments, and was quoted as saying, If you're not prepared, then it's better to stop already, right? We are all racers, and we love racing. We all know that Verstappen had a very tense 2021 season, which went down to the wire in Abu Dhabi against Lewis Hamilton last year. And this year, Verstappen successfully defended his title. However, when discussing 21, Verstappen stated he wouldn't want to go through that on a regular basis. You can't have that drama every single year. It's not good for me. It's not healthy for anyone in the team, both teams. Of course, it's just that it's nice to have a season like I had last year, but it's also nice to have a season like I've had this year. It would just be tough if you had that every single year the year I had last year. But that also doesn't really happen in F1, so it should be okay. This year's title came to Verstappen relatively easy, once Red Bull got on top of some of the early teething issues of the RB18. Ferrari and Mercedes also helped Verstappen in his title fight. Ferrari with mechanical issues and bad strategy calls, and Mercedes due to their lack of usual silver arrow performance. And Verstappen has stated that he believes the 2023 season will be a lot closer than this year, and was quoted saying, People are understanding the cars a lot more, and over time, all the teams will just edge closer. We know over the winter that we really need to keep pushing and keep trying to find performance. And not only performance, understanding possibly the tyres even more, because the tyres will change a little bit next year. So let's see how we are going to manage all of that. It's no secret that Max Verstappen is not a fan of street circuits in the new era of Formula 1 cars. And although he has managed to collect victories in Baku, Monaco, Miami and Jeddah in his career, he has just never taken to enjoying them as much as purpose-built racetracks. When asked in a recent interview if he would like to see less street circuits on the Formula 1 calendar, he swiftly commented, indeed, and went on to say, Formula 1 cars are really not made for that. I don't like street circuits at all anymore. Certainly not with the even bigger and heavier new generation of cars. It was still manageable with the old cars, but now it's not. In Monaco and Singapore, I was very disappointed with how the new cars took to the streets. Too heavy, too stiff, you can't take curbs with it anymore. The cars just aren't built for it. Street circuits are fun for pictures, but not for racing. Now, whilst it is an unpopular opinion, I have to agree with Max. I do like some of the street circuits, especially Jeddah and Baku, but for me, I could live without Monaco. You just don't get the action there like you did with the old cars. But let me know your opinions in the comments below. But that's the video for me today, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And until the next time, bye bye.